Hi guys, this is Erin Muldoon Stetson and I'm here to talk about the Daikang Medical Infrared Thermometer. It's a touchless thermometer and um, I made a video before and I missed a couple of things. I didn't realize how much people needed to know about it and so um, I thought I'd just take this time. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this film right here on the screen so it's easier for everyone to see. And then second, I'm gonna show you the batteries. So I didn't show this in the last video. Um, the batteries, so you just push this a little bit down and then it flips up. Okay, so you just, see that? Up. And now it takes two AAA batteries. Um, uh, the little button on the top of the battery goes in this one here. And then the other one goes face down. And then once that's there, you kind of push it down. There's a little bit more tension on that. You just push it in, and there it goes. Okay, again, flips up. See, it has a little more tension this time because now the batteries are in there, and there it goes. Now, to turn on the uh, thermometer, you press this trigger here. So I'm gonna show you. Right now it's not on. I'm gonna press the trigger. Ta-da, on a green screen and it's showing low because we're just, you know, it's aimed at the floor here, which is not gonna really show anything. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There it goes. Okay, so now, um, as you can see, right here it says low. I'm gonna press the trigger again to turn it on because it takes about 10 seconds it stays on and then it just turns off. But this here um, spot where it says body and this here spot where it says Celsius, and there are a few other things that I just want to point out to you so you can see and um, figure out what your settings, what best, what settings are best for you. I'm trying to find the best spot for the, for the um, focus. Okay, so anyway, here we go. So for this body spot right here, if you hit set gently, just one quick little thing, it turns from body to surface. You see where that says surface? I'm gonna press that set button again, just one quick spot, and it goes to body. I'm gonna press it again just to make it clear to you, and surface. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it back again, set to body, because that's what I'm more concerned about with my thermometer, maybe you are too. And then the second thing um, that I wanna show you is getting from Celsius to Fahrenheit because that was my biggest issue. So, um, so oh, I'm gonna turn it on again at the trigger here, see? Um, so I'm gonna go straight to that spot first, okay? So I'm pressing the set button, but again, this time instead of doing it a quick set, going from body to surface, now I'm gonna hold it down for a little bit longer than usual. Okay, and that's going to F1. Oops, maybe I'm not holding it down long enough. F1, that's F1. That's F2. I'm gonna show you all these in a little bit, okay? That's F3. That's F4. And then if I press it one more time long like that, it's gonna go off. Okay, so I'm gonna first go, oh, I gotta turn it on with the trigger again, remember? Um, so now I'm gonna press, I'm gonna go into F3 first. And the reason I'm going to F3 first, pressing that set button down long, F1, F2, F3. The reason I'm going to F3 first is because I wanna change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You see that Celsius to Fahrenheit. Can you see that? I'll point it out to you. There's the Fahrenheit button right there. And now I'm pressing Celsius Fahrenheit. How am I doing that? When it's on F3, I'm pressing these up or down button, one quick, one quick, one quick, one quick. So I'm just gonna go Celsius, get that in focus there, and Fahrenheit, Celsius, Fahrenheit. I am a Fahrenheit girl. If you're Celsius, put it on Celsius. I like Fahrenheit, so that's what I'm putting it on. Um, now I'm gonna go to here to F4, since we're already on this spot here. And this is for um, whether you want it to make a beep when you take a temperature, this little sound button. So again, I'm gonna go up, no sound, up again, sound. You see that on the bottom right here. 
I'm using the arrow keys now to s decide whether I want s no sound or sound. I like sound. I like to be able to hear when the thing's working. So that's that. Now I'm going to keep pressing the set button hard one more time. It's going to turn it off. Now I'm going to press the trigger to turn it back on. Oh, look, it says it's on surface right now. I want it on body. But look, it's checking Fahrenheit now. So that's exciting. You can see that. Now I'm going to go to um, body because that's what I want, right? And then I'm going to hit this set button again, but hold it down this time. And F1. So F1 is going to show me the variance. Um, or it's how you calibrate. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So just give me a minute. Um, F2 um, shows me what um, number I want to the uh, reading to stay green or give me a thumbs up, smiley face. It's good. We like this. Anything under 100.4 is good. Oh, it turned off. So I have to turn, press this. Um, okay. So now I'm gonna show you uh, how to take the measurement on my daughter, Riley, okay? So Riley, is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna hold the camera now. Here's Riley. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna take um, the, the thermometer, right? I'm gonna hold it up to her forehead about a half an inch to an inch away from her forehead. Well, let me to go like this so you can see. Well, you can see how far I am from her forehead there and right here. Okay, so here we go. I'm pressing it and look, it says 97.9. .9. Now that's interesting here. Thanks, Ray. That's interesting because um, 98.6 is the normal healthy number. Can I get this to focus again? Will you turn it back? Oh, I'm. you're oh, yeah. holding this. You're holding this. <laughs> <laughs> we, we switched places, didn't we? Okay. So um, so that 97.9, um, in order to get from 97.9 to 98.6, I would have to add 0.7. Um, do you understand? I, I just subtracted 98. Um, 97.9 from 98.6, and it gives me 0.7. So I'm gonna make that my um, calibration, my variance here. So I'm gonna go to um, set and hold it down so I get to the F1 part. And then I'm gonna do these arrows again, and I'm just gonna go make this go up to 0.7. They only do odd numbers. Okay, so 0.7, right? And then I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna to go to my set again, F2, 100.4. Remember we talked about that before, that's the um, my healthy number. Um, I'm gonna hit it again, F3, we're on Fahrenheit, that's what I wanted. I'm gonna press that set long again. You see how long I'm holding it? F4, I want the sound, that's what I wanted. And then it turns off. So now I'm gonna do the temperature on Riley again so that you can see for yourself, um, how that variance or that calibration worked, okay? So Riley, I'll hold the camera again. I'm gonna hold it up to her head so you guys can see. Ooh, let me go give it a little bit better um, angle here. And 98.6, just like I had said. So you see how we calibrated that so that you can see exactly how you can get it to adjust to be exactly the number that you wanted. And again, we switched places, that's so funny. Here you hold that. And, um, and that's about all you're gonna need to know. Um, if you have any more questions, you just let me know um, and we will go from there. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace, love, happiness, and balance. Take care, bye-bye.